In today's world, there is a need to help children of all ages. If there is one word to describe what it means to be a foster parent, what would that word be? If I could use two to be yourself. Caring. Be open-minded. A tolerance of each other. And then a second word, certainly, cooperation. These are honest opinions of what is involved in becoming a foster parent. Recruitment of safe and responsible families is the objective of the Children's Aid Society. For every child, there is a harbor. The recruitment and retention of foster parents is the key to the services that we can provide to the children. We need foster parents and we need uh, more foster parents and more foster families. And uh, the key to successful recruitment, in my opinion, is um, one, to educate the community about what the Children's Aid Society does. We offer um, uh, support to families uh, when they are first uh, approved as foster parents, so from the time they receive their very first placement, they will have a child and youth counselor come to uh, meet with them when a child first goes into their home. If they need more support than that, then we're available to be there for them beyond that as long as they need. And we also provide after-hour support and daytime emergency uh, support as well. So if they're ever in a crisis situation or a child's having a crisis, then there's always someone available to them day and night and weekends to provide them with support. Child protection workers clearly monitor children in care to ensure that each child's needs are being provided in a nurturing and positive environment. And what's been remarkable to me is that um, once teenagers are placed in these foster homes, they are uh, developing very close and trusting relationships with their foster parents, such that even when um, the teenager moves on, either back to the care of their parents or onto an uh, independent living kind of arrangement, they stay close and connected with their foster parents. They stay in touch with them. And um, the foster parents truly make a difference. I am a social worker with uh, the Crown Ward unit teams, uh, the kids who become Crown Ward and they are in the system with us for a long period of time. So we're there to support them, help them go through this process until they can fly on their own. Communities, uh, they have their own associations or groups uh, that the society can approach them or go there and make a presentation about what we are as an organization. With Children's Aid Society and, and fostering, there are several elements um, that come into play to assist in parenting and um, to ensure that the, the child um, is in a healthy and safe environment and has the supports that are required. There's a variety of different candidates and a variety of different qualifications that make, a, make for a good foster parent. Um, it's sort of the ultimate planned parenthood program because there's um, so much background and training and support that Children's Aid Society can offer um, in the fostering process that benefits not only the child but the parent as well and not only in, in foster placements but if they have other um, children in their homes as well it, it enhances the entire parenting and, and childhood experience. Of course no one ever said being a foster parent would be easy. There are times when compassion, understanding, and tolerance are essential. There have been really tough moments letting go of a child when it's time for them to move on, certainly. Um, questioning yourself of how long you're capable of doing it or, or with particular children, sometimes some of the behaviors, but again, I have to say the CAS provides a lot of support. Uh, love, it's a, it's a really neat uh, word because it means so many different things to so many different people. Uh, it's really important that uh, we love uh, the children here, but for them, they don't necessarily understand what that word means. It's more important to me that it's demonstrated than spoken. So I think the word itself is meaningless to the children. I think they need to be shown love and not just hear the words. I think they have to show it and through love, and that's where the commitment comes in and the hanging in because if you love someone you love them and you see their bad side as well as their good side it's not conditional it's not based on behavior it, it's really based on who they are and all the pieces they bring with them so I, I really think that in order to do that you have to demonstrate love and not just speak it 
Other people should consider fostering um, because it's rewarding. It's rewarding, it gives us a lot of um, value and you could see you could see children just flourish in front of you and there are so many children and youth that need a home that need care um, they need more than love I mean just to open your home because I feel I have that extra room and I have a lot of love that's not enough you need commitment at 100% never give up on the child even at the most Sometimes I would have scenarios where it was, would be very easy to give up. I never gave up. And because of that, then the kids felt that they belonged and they had a place in this world. And I think that's basically the most important part of fostering. And working with the foster, their, their own primary families, their mothers, fathers, grandparents, uncles and aunts, whatever their family is. Um, working with them as well is also rewarding. It's, it's, and, and after seven years, it's a second nature. Yeah. Some often people ask me, oh, it's very generous. What you do is very, but I'm thinking I could not be without that presence. That presence, I just could not be. So it becomes, that's why I'm telling people, try it, go try it. I mean, and it, it's, uh, what did it bring back to you is just, uh, it's amazing. We know that fostering it will be in place for uh, years to come. We're 110 years old and we know that there is always going to be children that need foster parents uh, for a short period of time in their lives. And uh, we see that the foster parents are the future because through the support that children receive in their homes, there is going to be opportunities for them to move forward to a positive future. Sail to open seas. This love. I